All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Distracted, and here we are with Desolate. All right, Desolate is a horror survival game, but it's got a really cool storyline with it, and I I played it once before, so the beginning is going to be pretty quick, uh, or for me it will be. You know, I'm just going to knock out the story and stuff like that. And I know I keep coming back to games and start recording, but that's because like I, I know a lot of these games that are really cool to like that I think people will actually like to watch and you know play so that's why I like making videos so people get turned on to uh you know new games that they probably just haven't played or whatever but I think a lot of people can enjoy this one it's a uh, enjoyable to watch it's got some jump scares in it so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start a new game here I we will do the prologue. Now this game is got a lot we of talking. Did it, we did it. Victor, are you okay? Everything's fine, Donna. Everything's perfect. You need to get out of there. Quickly. I'll use the sensors to try and help you. Be careful. I beg you. New quest. Long live the new light. Alright. Got our journal here. Quest. Escape the control room. Alright, so... My first impressions are the game looks great. I think the game has just a whole lot of really cool effects. I love the atmosphere, the post... Like, it's just... Okay. We do the... Oh, Jesus, fuck. Um, what the hell is going on over there? Okay. Now I did not do the prologue in the last the last time I played this, even whenever I played with my brother. Uh fucking rip, dude. That sucks. So I don't really know what's going on. I can see you clearly now on the map of the complex. There are blockages ahead of you and no way around. You'll have to get through. Oh, nope, it's not C. Okay, I left control to crouch. I still have to relearn quite a bit of stuff, but whatever. Space to jump, of course. Jesus, it's not like I'm a superhero fucking jump. All right, left shift sprint. Oh! God damn, bro. I... There's something strange here. What do you mean? Wait a minute. Oh, I remember those Excuse things. Me. Don't go near it. But what is it, Donna? I've never seen anything. Like what? Sensors. This entity emits electromagnetic waves. It could be extremely dangerous. It's gonna... Go around it, but throw something from far away first to figure out how far its effect can reach. Jesus. All right. Well, that was cool. Saw a fucking rat just get smashed, Donna. blown up. Subject forty-seven is here. Can you hear it? Hear it and see it. Do you have any idea what this means? Yo, he fucked those guys Do you remember up. Remember how they react to living beings? I'm looking for a way to defend myself in case I run into them on the way out. Don't worry. Yo, I am a old, old dude. Okay, can't kill the mice, rats, whatever. I really like the the fluidity of like this whole game. Give me five seconds. Really smooth. Getting that, uh, Bioshock type of vibe from this game. Donald, I feel bad. Double Jesus. Knows why. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. One second. There's a dining room ahead of you. 
followed by several airmail terminals. Head that way. I'll send a first aid kit to Terminal 5 for you. Just hurry. Bunch of food items here. Hopefully it lets me keep all this stuff whenever I go to the main game. Uh, yeah, I like how you can search like most items. Like these you can't really search, but... Like, most of the time, you can search almost everything here. Whoops. What is that? Ooh, fucking hell yeah. Darn. You're there. Terminal 5, Victor. Yeah. One second. Oh, boy. All right, keep moving. They'll kill me on the spot if they find me. My own employees of my own conglomerate shooting me in the head. God, I need to get to the other side. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh yeah, we sneaking. Shit. I'm right right where I was trying to go. That just dropped right where I'm trying to go as well. Thank you. Shit. Ah! Uh, get the fuck off of me! Stop! I spotted movement up ahead. Subject forty-seven. Bitch, suck my dick. Can you go around? No. This is the only way. Well, I guess there's no other choice. I'm going to have to kill it. Just be careful. Yeah. Please. I'm gonna have to kill it. The bitch. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, fuck. I killed it. I seem to be okay. Fucking old man can't do shit. That was look important. There's a door here. It's locked. I don't have access to it. How can we get you out? Wait, wait, let me think. There's gotta be an emergency generator. You need to start it up to get the door open. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is it. What's there? Behind the door? Freedom, Victor. Freedom, Victor! I did it. I had to. It's my destiny. Of course, they think the worst has already happened to them. How wrong they are. That dude sounds like a bad guy. Just saying. Probably gonna have to kill him. I don't know. All right, everyone. So here is the actual game. We're gonna start from scratch again. What the hell? Let me let me play the piano. Um. Okay. Yep, and that is what I'm talking about. What was that? Ah! Alright. So. They're gonna talk. Well, hell yeah. Food explosion. Is located in the lighthouse of hope. Well, I'm here. On Grinichny. 
It's been two years since Day X. Our world has changed, become more dangerous, more foreign. And all because of that damn madman. I joined the volunteer ranks at the New Light Conglomerate, wanting to help return our country and the world to the way they once were. Wanting to eliminate all of the horrible things which now fill our mm. planet. The scum that Agnum had birthed into existence. Our ranks weren't just made up of volunteers, of course. They were prisoners, too. But I thought that was fair. This way, they could redeem themselves in the eyes of society as they proved their usefulness to it. You might find this hard to believe, but Grunichny is pure hell on Earth. That's where it all began. And that's where New Light plans to send it all back to the way it was. In briefing, they told us danger waited for us here, lurking around every corner. Mortal danger. And not just from the creatures that had overrun the island, but also from the illnesses, or so people called the paranormal afflictions. I didn't know much about these things, but I did know I had to stay on my guard. Oh shit! Shit, bro! Fucking little shithead. Oh, that was not the way I wanted to start, you know, talking, but okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. There's a lot of talking whenever, like, you're doing missions, which is really cool. No, Don't thanks. Get... I can't fly. <gasps> what the fuck is that? That thing's huge. I'm not going over there. I want to live. All right. So yeah, I, again, a lot of talking throughout the missions. The lighthouse of Nadezda in sector F8 or Fox, Fox 8. That is where we have to go. Got to get the two way communication going. Uh, easy enough, you know. As you can see, I was looting, uh... Oh, you what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. That sounded huge. Don't you fucking do it. Oof. Alright, um... You know, I think I actually might have already been here at one point. Well, uh, okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Of course I have, because I've already done this mission once before. Now, I've been live streaming over at Twitch. I'm just going to plug this in real quick in case there is some people that do watch and just want to watch more. Like, oh shit, bro, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh. Whew, all right. Oh, that's over. So I've been streaming over at Twitch, like I just said. And usually I was streaming the mist last time. That's why we're not playing the mist right now. Because to be honest, I played it for like four hours straight, which is actually a lot for me. So yeah. So yeah, I've been streaming over at Twitch and I might do it on, on, uh, you know, YouTube. I'm not really sure, but I, I obviously I'll have to wait until I get more, you know, of a following or, you know, a bigger community, a bunch of more dudes and dudettes watching because I mean, I don't have a personal preference, I guess. So whatever. All right, leveled up. I'm gonna go with the runner. Um, yep, definitely need to be able to dismantle my stuff. You know, you gotta mess with them all and then make, an, make a decision, I guess. And that's kind of what I'm just doing. So I might try out YouTube. 
I have done YouTube uh, once or twice way back in the day, back whenever I used to play a lot of Call of Duty. Where? Ah, you fucker. Oh shit, I thought I killed him with that last one. Yeah, my thing is that with YouTube, it doesn't have a whole lot of customization and stuff like that. Twitch is geared towards live streaming, so it's got a lot more customization for live streaming. Crazy. So, oh, something died there. Oh no, I wanted that. Fuck. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, I'm tearing this dude up. There's no way. What are you doing? Yeah, you slumped. <laughs> you dumb bitch. I <laughs> oh, just kicked his chest in. Watcher, this is volunteer. Come in. I repeat, Watcher, this is volunteer. I've repaired the station. Do you read me? What the hell? The station's running. Why won't he answer? I can see wires coming out of the top of the station. The transmitter might be disconnected. Epic comma. So reconnected. Hmm. Guess. I will eventually be getting into, uh, Crafting and modding weapons and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to collect a lot of different items Okay Herbal tea Volunteer, can you read me? I'm getting a signal Copy that, I read you Good work Now the island has two-way communication with the continent Yeah I've been meaning to ask you about the creature on the elevator talking about when the doors were open i saw something blindingly bright behind them i stepped forward and a few seconds later i was on the surface what happened i've heard from my colleagues that the first time people come to the island they experience a kind of acclimation in rare cases it causes hallucinations and gaps in the memory it's obviously been a bit rougher on you than on most rest. Your next mission will take you someplace where you can do just that. Next mission will enhance your chances. Renichni is a dangerous place, as you know. But even on this island, there are some places that are relatively safe. One of those places is Oasis. Head over and, well, introduce yourself. Let you in if you have a certain token. The kind that the train system uses back when it was operational. So where do I find this token? At the Spark train station. It's in Sector C7. Go get it. So, I'm seeing some stuff over here, and we're going to try and make it through. It's kind of cool. You can see where the, like, perimeter is on these anomalies. Like, that one for sure. Yeah. Oh, my. Fucking god, what is that? Nice, alright. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, this has to be something pretty dope to be in the middle of, of all this, you know?
Watcher, I have the token. Proceed to Oasis. Set the token to the merchant. Camp itself is to the north. Sector C6. A boss. Holy fucking shit. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell? Hell no, I'm not being encumbered right now. You know, you're fucked up. All right, well, this is the uh, Pride Rock from Lord of the Rings. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish this quest. Finally made it to a safe place called Oasis, which is amazing because this is like, we'll be able to make like a crafting table and stuff here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take some work, but all right everyone so that is the end of this first episode we ended up at oasis and we are just gonna resituate all of our equipment our gear and then figure out like what we want to do from there might go just loot up some places but there is a quest that i should get some pretty good loot from and a decent reward so we might just knock that out I uh, really just want to do more exploring around the area and stuff like that. Kind of scope it out. You know, try and figure out how to make ammo or just in general just get more ammo. Because the guns are going to be really, really useful. So, but yep. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like. Subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, right? Peace.